world? It is your girl Jasmine Love and I'm about to be answering your main question that you have for me. Why have I stopped making comedy videos? So grab your popcorn, grab a seat, and let's get started. Well, first and foremost, welcome back to my channel because like I said, it's been, it's been a while. Maybe, maybe a year, maybe less. If you don't know who I am or if you just ran and stumbled across this page, my name is Jasmine Love and I have been doing comedy sketches for about six years, since 2015. I am a daughter, a wife, a sister, a friend, and I'm also a creator. I love to make people laugh. I love to just put smiles on people's faces, which is ultimately why I started shooting videos and making comedy. So. Let's go back in history, shall we? So before I started doing comedy sketches, I was just an accountant at Blue Cross Blue Shield. I had graduated with my bachelor's in 2012 and I was hired at Blue Cross Blue Shield as one of their accountants. You know, I just honestly thought that that was just gonna be a career that I had for the rest of my life, you know? I went back to school, I had got my master's in accounting because I loved it that much where I was like, mm, I'm gonna open an accounting firm, a firm, get it, my CPA, all of that. Well, in 2014, I got my master's in accounting and I was content with what I did. I was just content living my life until Vine came out. When Vine came out, it was, I was just watching tons of videos. I would be at work watching the videos and I would see nothing but men doing the videos, the sketches and I was like, dang, there ain't nobody out there that's, you know, you know, women out there talking about like best friend situations, jobs, or, you know, just relationships. I didn't see any of it. I didn't see a lot of it, I'll say. So I would just be at work. I would write out my sketches. I don't even know what made me pick up a camera, but I just did. I picked up a camera and I filmed my own sketches and I would just put them out there and buy them in Facebook and Instagram. As time went by, you know, I started to grow an audience. People would tag me and be like, girl, that's so funny. They would tag their best friends and I was like, dang, I might be on to something. And it wasn't until I made like my first brand deal and it was like, I don't know, it might've been like $50. Well, I was like, wait, you can get paid off of this? So that's when I really started to get intrigued with social media. So that was 2015. Fast forward to 2016, I have this thought in my mind that you know what, I'm gonna move to LA. I don't know, it was strictly God because I would have never thought, if you would have asked me like 10 years ago, what would I be doing? And I would have never thought it would be outside of South Carolina. I don't know, it was just, it was just crazy. So I had the crazy idea of just wanting to move to LA in 2016. My parents were supportive and I ended up doing it. I quit my job, I quit my career as an accountant to go to LA and figure things out as a influencer or content creator or whatever you wanna call it. Mind you, I never grew up wanting to be a comedian. I always felt like I was funny, I had a good personality, but I wasn't like a studying Eddie Murphy jokes or you know stuff like that, taking comedy classes, I was never, doing that. I was never doing stand up or anything. I was just, I enjoyed comedy movies and, and you know, and stand up shows, but I wasn't like, ooh, I want to be a stand up comedian. No, it just happened. How y'all doing tonight? Good. Good, good. Let me tell you, I almost didn't make it to the show. I almost went to jail. Yeah, I was at the airport. This lady tried to steal my phone, you guys. Yes, caught it in the act. I didn't realize I left my phone on the plane until I got to the bathroom, okay? So I go back to the gate, I'm like, ma'am, I go to the flight attendant, my phone is on the plane, I lost it. She says, nobody turned it in. So I'm over here freaking out because I've been taking, you know, pictures for my man and shit at night. So you know, I'm already like, well, okay, well somebody got my phone. So you know, I pulled out my computer, I did the little find my iPhone. Now I don't know if you, don't, if you know about this, but if you had to find my iPhone, it will send an alert to your phone and it have a loud noise, okay? So I'm sitting here at the airport and I hear this chirping noise going off as I'm ringing it to my phone. And I look and this lady's just sitting there. I go over there, I'm like, ma'am, is that my phone? And she don't speak English now. She's like, oh, no, no English. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, we need to be able to communicate. What's a universal way for her to understand me and vice versa, you know? Like, dang, what can I do? 
So hell, I start taking off my earrings because that's the only universal way for me to say I'm about to whoop your ass if you don't give me my phone back. Like you're not even a smart thief, you know? I mean, I'm not saying I know from experience or nothing, but uh, if you're gonna steal somebody's phone, you know, turn the Wi-Fi off, turn the airplane mode on, turn the Bluetooth off, turn the phone off, you know, I don't know. But I'm over here trying to teach her how to help her steal my phone. So girl, next time you want to steal a phone, turn it off. <laughs> so needless to say, I almost didn't make it here tonight, but I'm glad to be here. Where are the couples at in here? All right. I got a little boot thing myself. Yeah, been going strong. He just moved in with me about two weeks ago. Yeah, I get round of applause. That's a big deal. Yes, he moved in with me. Now, needless to say, I'm putting his ass out tomorrow. Y'all, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I need my privacy. Ladies, we need our privacy, right? I can't do it. For example, I was in the shower the other night, right? You know, so I'm with TLC time. All of a sudden, I'm like. <laughs> now, I know that ain't my own life path, I smell. I pull the curtains back, he's taking the shit. <laughs> I'm like, you can't wait until I get out the shower. He's talking about. Damn, baby, I thought we were better than that. <laughs> Hell no, we not better than that. It never gonna be, okay? All he do is eat shit and watch sports. He eat all my snacks, you guys. I mean, all my oatmeal pies, my honey buns, my Oreos, like a little kid. But all he do is watch sports. I'm so tired of seeing that mess on my TV. He be trying to involve me too, like, baby, look, look, my team won tonight. Baby, I don't care how many home runs LeBron made, <laughs> how many touchdowns Stephon Curry made, or any of that. Tom Brady, his tennis games, I don't care. So I moved out here to LA in 2016, and wow, was that a a change? But in the meantime, my page is growing. I'm. Brand deals is just crazy. So with that being said, you may know my characters, Keisha Brittany, Professor Petty, Bianca. I have so many characters that people now know and love that everyone's like <laughs> invested in these characters. So now I'm gonna get to why I feel like I have stopped making videos. It wasn't until this year, 2021, and I think it might've had a lot to do with COVID, you know? I think COVID really opened my eyes to just wanting more out of life. I've always loved making people laugh, but it wasn't something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. It wasn't, I didn't want to be known as Keisha, Brittany, Stephanie, Professor Petty the rest of my life. You know, I really want people to know me for me as Jasmine Love, but also a content creator slash influencer. And it wasn't until one day just dawned on me that I was like, you know, I just feel like it wasn't fun anymore. I didn't have that urge to wake up and want to make a skit. You know, I'll say it like this. I haven't stopped because I would never stop because that's what made me become who I am. But I feel like there's always a time in life where sometimes you have to pause certain things. I feel like as a creator, a lot of people change. A lot of people progress. A lot of people elevate. And a lot of people don't understand that. But I feel like I am changing. I'm not the same person that I was back in 2015. You know, I've grown, I've elevated. And I want to show that in my body of work. I want to show my progression as a creator. And it's not always going to be just skits. I think that when you start off doing something, they think that that's how you're always supposed to be. But in reality, it's not always like that. You know, sometimes you wake up and be like, dang, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do something different. And that's okay. When I first started college, I wanted to do computer science sound like a true geek but I wanted to do computer science right and as time went on I was like I don't like this no more I don't want to do it I'm gonna change to accountant I really sound like a big geek but whatever 
So sometimes when you start off with something, that's not always gonna be how you end. And that's how I am with comedy. You know, I started off doing comedy. That's not my end goal. That's not my end goal is to do sketches. You know, I wanna be an actress. I wanna be a writer. I wanna be a producer. I wanna have my own skincare line. I love beauty. I love health. There's so much more about me that the world doesn't know because all they see is me, the girl, the funny girl from Instagram. And I wanna change that. So I say all that to say that this channel will be more about me. It'll be about what products I use, what's my day-to-day -day routine, what do I love? More about Jasmine love that you don't see from my sketches. One of my major goals is to have a face care line. I want to have a face care line so bad. I'm all about skin. Like, I feel like the, the videos, it just overshadowed a lot. Like, I'm all about natural beauty and like skin products and I don't know, all that makes me happy. So I'm trying to find something that makes me happy. It makes me want to get up and do it. And this is it. I want to show you guys more about me. What do I do on a daily basis? Like, what's my routine? And I want y'all to grow with me. Jasmine Love not the girl who does the skits, you know? And I know a lot of people won't understand that, but I know a lot of people will understand that. So for the ones who do understand that and respect how I feel, first of all, I appreciate you. And second of all, I hope you follow me on this journey. So hopefully you'll drop a comment down below. Let me know what you wanna see on this channel from just anything i don't i don't even care just drop a comment let me know what you want to see from me so i hope y'all are ready to ride this journey with me this new wave i appreciate y'all for continuously supporting me and continuously watching make sure you hit that bell because i will be posting all of the time you don't want to miss any of that make sure you turn on the notifications because when i drop some videos you don't want to miss it i will still keep my videos on this channel so you can go back check out the videos i have a channel with me and my husband a lot of you guys already know it's called love and slim make sure you go down in the description below so make sure you subscribe to love and slim make sure you subscribe to my channel and also with my channel when i start talking about beauty i am not a makeup artist <laughs> let me just say that now my channel will be mainly for like natural like women who don't wear a lot of makeup but sometimes wear a little bit of makeup yeah you'll just have to wait and see because sis don't know how to contour or nothing but it's gonna be an entertaining channel so make sure you stay tuned and i'll catch you guys in the next video see ya